All right. Uh, year 53. 100 cubes on the floor. I guess one strategy is to just send a worker to the upper left. <clears throat> Actually, you could just do this with one worker. I'm just trying to figure out how to best utilize all the workers. Interestingly, they are all on different rows. And that actually kind of makes things easier. I'm not totally sure what my strategy is, but one thing is to <clears throat> walk left until I get to the wall, and then we have a starting spot. Simple enough. Now the worker in the first row can just uh, pick up right whatever. Uh, that's weird. I thought normally we have the ability to write what's in memory. Apparently we have to set the memory first. What if I now get rid of that? <laughs> Does it not allow me to write to memory anymore? It requires me to set memory. Figure out how to optimize it later. Get it working now as usual. So that's perfectly fine. You pick up, you write to memory. You drop. Ugh. Now we got to add to memory. Step right and then repeat it. I just want to see it in progress. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. So now, what is the...
they really just need to add you know 10 to their number but the worker can't add 10 until the person above them is done so that's where the tell and listen commands will help Oops, I'm putting those in the right spot. Everyone needs to go to the wall first. Now we can start listening. We'll just listen for hi. And if there's a wall directly above me, I won't listen to hi. Oops, so that's not equal to. So everyone but the top guy listens. So after they're done listening, they need to add 10 to their starting memory. So I'll optimize this later. I, I mean, I don't think I necessarily, like, I don't think I need to set it. I'll just fix that now. So if you access mem2, it'll just, it'll be zero. And then... If mem2 is not equal to 10... then we will keep adding. So when I'm done with that, I think this is in the right place. What I'm gonna do I'm going to add to mem1 mem2. So that'll be plus 10. Then I'll do everything I do. But I need to tell the person below me before I start moving. All right, so let's just uh, kind of test this. They should be listening. I actually know I have a bug right now, but I, I'm just making sure this works first. Then I'll fix that. I find it really hard to see what's going on there when they're on top.
Okay. So there's an additional thing that has to be done. After they do the calcs to add mem2, which is 10, to mem1, I also need to add the value above. I apologize if I'm not completely coherent. It is late at night for me. But I hope you get the general idea. They just all go to the left wall and then they just sequentially write numbers from left to right. And once the first person is about ready to walk over, you know, walk from zero to one, they tell the person below them to go ahead and start. So they're able to add 10 plus the number above, uh, which is 0, to get 10. And that's their start. And as I say, I, this is not optimized. As you can see, my average is 272 seconds compared to 80 seconds. So. And, you know, there's probably plenty of ways to code this uh, solution, uh, some which might be very different than how I coded it. Because, as they said, the order doesn't even matter. So I just picked the most brain-dead way to do it. I hope you found some use out of the video. Thanks for watching.